interesting thing will happen Tuesday when Scott Brown is elected to the United States. And our job is to do everything we can to remind our family, our friends, our co-workers, get on the phone, remind people to vote on Tuesday because if the turnout is huge, it's going to be a huge win for Scott Brown. But that's your assignment between now and 8 o'clock on Tuesday evening is to man those phones, get that vote out. And I am so very proud to stand with a man who is going to bring some independence in the best interest of the people of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts to the United States Senate. A man of integrity, a man of intelligence, a man of com compassion, and a man who is absolutely committed to doing what is in the best interest of the people of Massachusetts. That man is our next United States Senator, Scott Brown. Thank you, thank you. Listen, before I begin, I want to thank Representative Polito, my good friend, Representative Peterson here, does a wonderful job. And our Representative Frost is here as well. I want to thank Frosty for coming out and helping, and obviously, Governor, for your continued support and friendship. It means a tremendous amount. But most importantly, folks, you, for, for taking time out of your busy Sunday from church and from your family and, and sports and other obligations, thank you very, very much for coming out. It means so, so much. Uh, we've come a long way, a long way, and we still have a long way to go. We're not taking anything for granted. We're having, as you know, a rally here this afternoon. I am hopeful that you're going to come around 3 o'clock to meet yes. some very, very, very special people. Yes. And so I hope to see you at 3 o'clock on the Canucks Hall. Yes. And as you know, this race has been about differences. It's been about differences between Martha and me and a whole host of issues. And you, will know, you all know what they are. Let me touch on them briefly, okay? You're talking about, talking about somebody who wants to raise your taxes, 2.1 trillion? Versus somebody who doesn't. Somebody who does not think that there's still Taliban and Al-Qaeda in Afghanistan? Or somebody who absolutely knows there are? Somebody who's tried to run a very clean and uplifting and issues-oriented yes. campaign. Yes. And somebody who has said that I would deny women who have been raped coverage in hospitals. Shame on Martha. There's, there's negative politicking, and then there's malicious politicking. And to be honest with you, when I, when I started doing this race and I sat across the table from my wife and kids, my wife said one thing, honey, you have to come home here after it's over, so you better run a good and clean campaign and fight about the issues and talk about the things that are very important to the people of Massachusetts. And keep it out of the gutter. Keep it out of the gutter and talk about the things that you've been talking about, which is how are our kids, our grandkids, and our great-grandchildren, and so on, going to pay the $12 trillion national debt and counting? How are we going to make sure that we bring our men and women home safely from war victoriously? And how are we going to hold the line on taxes and stimulate our economy and create jobs for this country? I have been blessed by meeting so many wonderful people throughout this state. I have seen 
places in this state that I never knew existed, and for that I'm very thankful. You're welcome. Yeah. You're very welcome. I'm especially thankful for the Worcester Police Department's endorsements. <laughs> Police Benevolent Association, the State Police, a whole host of groups that care about the safety of you and your kids. This race is, uh, it's close. It's close, but it's not over. Just remember the, just remember the Yankees, what happened. They thought it was over, right? And by the way, uh, Kurt Schilling is not a Yankees fan. You'll be able to ask him that very question in a couple hours down the street. Thank you, thank you. So we are, uh, we're very close, but it's not over. And I encourage you to do everything you can do in a respectful, thoughtful, factually oriented manner to get your friends and family out to vote. If they have differences, please just have them call me. <laughs> Everyone else does. So call me and I'll answer the question because every vote will count in this election. Every single vote. Do not take anything for granted. You're right, young lady. I wish you could vote. So don't take anything for granted. Get 801. 801 is when we're going to stop. And we're going to have our hopeful victory party at the Park Plaza. And I'd love all of you to come. And then we're going to try, if, if, we're, if we're lucky enough to, and honored enough to win, we'll do some regional events for people that can't get out. But bottom line is, from the bottom of my heart, my wife and my family, we greatly appreciate how respectful you've been, even if the people who don't like us, even the trackers that have been following me around. And, and there's, there's quite a few, they've been very, I'll be honest with you, the, 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 the trackers, even the trackers that have followed us around have been very respectful, and for that I appreciate. So, don't forget, don't forget, by sending a message in this race, a message that will be heard around the country. Around the country. As the 41st Senator, as the 41st Senator, I can start debate again in a system that seems to be broke and stalled where there's no good government, there's no debate, there's no discussion. That's what our country was founded upon. So I'm, I'm, I, I want to be the person to go down there and send the health care back to its drawing board so we can do it. talking about raising your taxes and they're talking about raising the debt ceiling and they're talking about all those things at least we can debate it in a transparent manner yes. out front not behind closed doors and that's good government folks that's good government that's what i believe in thank you thank you thank you thank you so listen this race started out as a race of uh, you know, politics of hope. Politics of hope, really. You've heard that before? Politics of hope. But right now, it, it seems with Martha, it's a politics of destruction because the negative campaigning and the fact that she's not focusing on issues that are, are important to each and every one of you is wrong. I call her on her once again to take down the negative ads, talk about how she's going to help this great state, and uh, stop trying to tear me down. So listen, thank you very much. I'm going to try to meet everyone here. Thank you so, so much.